Welcome back, everybody. I am getting things going here again. I have done nothing, nothing off camera. I got busy and I couldn't do it. So I'm going to go ahead and make this road right now. Um, I keep talking about it, but I don't do it. So I'm thinking I'm going to cut through, cut through the woods here. It seems like it'd be almost a natural, a natural path. Uh, painting and dirt. Dirt would be good. And uh, so let's start over here somewhere. I'll use a uh, circle. Yeah, I like using a circle better. And we'll make that a bit bigger. So I'm going to open that up a bit. We're going to be coming through here. It almost seems like a natural road here already. So I think I'll leverage it. <laughs> Not mess with the scenery too much, although one of these might need to go. So it might be a little bit narrow. And where are we? Where are we? Maybe one of those trees as well. This is not owned by me. Why is it not owned by me? Okay, I'll have to adjust that later. Now, before I go, I'm going to jump in here. We're going to clean up a little bit. We're just going to delete some trees. I'm going to need a little bit, a little bit of room in here. Maybe this one too. walk it and I think I'm going to take this big tree out of here off the corner right there yes I'm deleting a big tree um, dun -dun -dun, dun -dun -dun. this looks decent there's enough room I just want it wide enough and then we drop down to the road okay good enough uh, pull of beets, pull of beets, and actually I don't even know why I'm going this way. I'm gonna have to deal with another road over there somewhere. I'll have to figure that out. In the meantime, we'll go this way. The harvester's full, so um, I need to get this done ASAP. I did not bail. I, like I said, I did nothing between the last episode and this one, so... So yeah... How are you guys doing today? This is, I'm recording this on Friday, which is I think the 10th, 10th of November, and this will be the episode for the second episode um, of the week uh, by the time you see this. Anyways, I got up this morning and I was ready to looking at all my stuff for YouTube, looking at my channel, looking at other other stuff going on, uh, my subscriptions and whatnot, and I started to see a whole bunch of videos coming out for Zalanka. Uh, for those special people, I'll say. Uh, hopefully I'll be one of those special people one day, but it's uh, basically the people that, that are Giant's partners. They've got early access to the map, and I am extremely jealous, envious, and a little bitter i'm not gonna lie i'm like ah oh, they're getting their series started i want to start you know anyways anyways we'll see we'll see i'm trying to watch a little bit of it but not much i don't want it to be you know spoiler alert too much um yeah some of the big guys uh have have theories going already starting today so I know, you know, it's one of those things, right? It's, it's the competition. I don't want to send you to the competition. Uh, that said, they are, all of them that got this are way bigger than me. Um, so they're not really the competition. I'm just a little guy. Just a little guy. In this concept, anyway. I'm not such a little guy. I'm a, I'm a big Canadian boy. Six foot four, and I don't want to say how many pounds. I'm a big, big guy. 
Um, anyways, long story short, uh, I will be starting as soon as I get it. Um, I think what I'm going to try to do, though, is I kind of wanted to start a new farmer. Um, y you guys will have already seen the first episode, so I don't even know what I why I'm talking about this uh, by the time this one is out. So, yeah, anyways, I won't waste my time. You've already seen it. You already know what's going on now. But I just wanted to share how disturbed I was this morning. Okay, let's unload this guy. We're going to continue with these two big harvests. I the um, When I started everything up... Oh, that's loud. When I started everything up this morning, uh, the unload feature did not work. Um, oh, and it's still not working, so I'm going to have to run around and pick up pick up crops. This is a really long field, so and it, crop destruction is on, so I have to drive all the way around, come back. Oh well. Oh no, he's going. He's going. Okay. I think. Well, they're going to avoid crops too. <laughs> It's going to make it long. That's okay. That's okay. Alright. Uh, that's off. This I won't touch. And let's get bailing. Um, I always struggle. V, B. There we go. Whenever I lower the pickup, I think I need to lower it. It's already lowered, and when I don't, blah, blah, blah. So I've had uh, quite a few comments recently about uh, horseplay um, features, I guess, that I should be looking at that I don't, I don't use. I only use it at a very basic level. So, so I think I'm going to, um, I don't know, I, I've always wanted to do like a major automation kind of map where absolutely everything is automated. Um, you know, well, harvesting, drilling, uh, carting, uh, selling, uh, all the things, all the things. All of the productions forwarding their stuff. Um, basically, look at it, play it purely from like a manager perspective, and and not as much hands-on. I might do that. I might run a series like that, but I have to learn uh, quite a few things. There's a lot of stuff. Um, those of you who have been following me for a while know that I can get impatient with stuff, and I don't, I don't. Uh, it out to try to figure it out. Uh, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. So, yeah, I'll have to study course play. I want to get auto drive um, set up, and I, I've never, I'm not really used it, which is kind of funny because there was a lot of auto drive like features in course play in FS19, and I use that all the time. I did use that. All the time, laid out all my all my courses, and um, and then I'd let them, especially a lot of movement of stuff, either uh, deliveries from silo to sell point, sell point, um, or between silos uh, across big maps, uh, where you know it just takes a long time to travel back and forth, and just automate it all. Uh oh. Eggs, eggs, we gotta get some eggs out of there. The eggs are gonna be coming fast and furious. Keep getting warnings for some of you guys about how much food I'm gonna have to generate. I'm starting to get worried. I'm starting to get worried. That big field is all sorghum, and I think, if I remember correctly, the field beside it, uh, we also put sorghum. So well, those are fast crops. Uh, they, I think the plan is to keep the, not only keep the chickens in, in feed, uh, at the, at the, the coops, but also start stockpiling tons, tons of feed in, in the silos. 
So, we'll do that. I'm a little excited. Uh, well, excited. As excited as uh, as one can be, I guess. But um, I am. I finally figured out my my PC, uh, new new computer. I figured out what exactly I'm getting and where I'm getting it and what the price is. Uh, some of the Black Friday um, sales have started, and um, I found a, a great deal. And I think I think it's going to be. I think it's going to be really good. Um, I don't know what it's actually going to mean to uh, the quality of videos that I produce. Uh, I've, I've been having a little bit of issues lately. I'm finding that my videos on YouTube, once they get to YouTube, are not as crisp and clear as what I'm actually seeing while I'm recording. And that didn't seem to be a problem in the past. I don't know what has changed. Um, I find it's a little bit more grainy. Um, not, not, not a lot, but, but it, it just looks like, you know, I played my raw video uh, versus the edited video, um, and it looks perfect once it's edited and, and produced. But when I upload it to YouTube, it seems to do something. So I thought, well, it's probably my slow rural internet when I re-watch my videos from YouTube it's not you know not as good uh, but I go to some of the other players uh, some of the other uh, content creators and I have a look at what they're doing and it's a lot more crisp um, than my stuff so I'm confused I I'm actually a little bit confused that said I should be able to my new kit my new PC should be able to uh, run at absolute max max settings on everything and um, I am running pretty high settings right now uh, looks great to me like I said but, yeah we'll see we'll see I should be probably picking that up maybe this weekend uh, I Probably gonna have to do a lot of work though to transfer, download a whole bunch of stuff on my slow rural internet. Um, it's gonna be overnighters to download certain things. Uh, I'll try to get it done and I have to redo all my uh, recording settings, microphone and all of that stuff. I don't know if there's a way you can export that out of, I use OBS for recording. Uh, I don't know if there's a way you can export that to a file, all the settings. And uh, it might be, there probably is a way. You know what? I'm gonna have to look at that. It saved me a lot of work. That said, the settings are gonna need to probably be tweaked anyway. Um, I'm gonna be dealing with a new new sound, um, you know, on, from this new system board and it'd be different. Uh, definitely gonna have a uh, different GPU. And I believe GPU is involved in some of the sound processing. So we'll see. Nerd talk. Nerd talk. You guys don't want to hear nerd talk. You guys want to hear about farming. All right. This is going well. I am going to set a worker to pick up all these bales. Works well. I'm happy with that. So um, save a lot of work. And then I'm going to. Uh, I got to figure out a few more things with course play and see if I can get more automation done. When it comes to Zalanka, I think what I'm going to do... Oh, my truck is full. Full of sugar beet. Let me just finish this, you know, that can wait a minute. Um, for Zalanka, I originally I said I was going to do a new farmer. I said that a few times. Uh, I'm looking at some of the people that are already doing series. They're all starting new farmers, so I'm having second thoughts now. I think I might start with farm manager and see how that goes i don't really want to start from scratch i really want to dig into some of the new content and i don't want it to take too long to get there so i don't know we'll see i may do a uh, uh i want to say special start uh, meaning you know it'll be based on the on the farm manager but i'll i'll pre prepare stuff ahead of time for the start of the series
I suspect I don't know what's gonna what next year is gonna look like for farm uh, farming simulator. Uh, there will be definitely another season pass, that's for sure. And there's going to be a whole bunch of DLC. Uh, there's no announcement on a on a new version. Farming Simulator 25 or 24 or whatever. I, I don't know. You know, we'll see. We'll see what happens. On that note, oh, everybody hit subscribe. If I can get to a thousand, I can get this info ahead of the <laughs> ahead of the crowd. I want to I want to apply for the Giants program so much. I know a lot of you. At this point in the video, we are. According to my clock, we're probably about 15 minutes in. Um, the uh, people that are, are watching this late in the video are probably already subscribed. All right, that was quick. That was simple. I just wanted to get this knocked out. We'll get this picked up and then we'll start dealing with our sugar beet harvest. That's going to need a lot of attention. So a lot of manual attention to dry cart, cart all the beets back and forth to the, to the refinery. Let's put this away. to check on those greenhouses to see how far along they are as far as using up everything that was in there so we can take them down and um, reconfigure how we're doing that really the strawberries that I need more than anything else I don't really need the other stuff it's, it's all about the strawberries okay where's my bale trailer right here Never mind. Now, if I'm not mistaken, it should be as simple as I, I, I get try to get all fancy with it, but it should be as simple as hitting H. And no, it's not. Um, uh, collecting, bailing. Okay, let's see what happens. Ugh, why is that happening? Maybe I have to select a field. There we go. That doesn't work. I think so. I just gotta make sure that it's. Uh oh, where are you going? Oh, I don't like how this is looking. I'm very curious as to where they're going, so I'm just going to let this play out here. What the heck? Okay. Okay, okay, hang on a second, hang on a second. Something's wrong. Something is wrong. We gotta redo the redo the settings here. That's definitely not the right way to go. I didn't think I, I think I had to do two target field things and I did not um, do this target position. Um, yeah, I don't know. Let's see this. Here I am. Here I am. All bales. Let's see what happens here.
Okay. I think we're in business now. I have to do the both both settings, I guess. Okay, we're full again. So I need a route. I can go. I can cut through here now. Go the fast way. Is cutting down the middle. I don't know why. Whoa, what just happened? I may change out this truck. I find it a little sluggish. And I also find it's not as stable as what I'm used to. Probably do that. I have 400,000. Um, I do have one field, I think I talked about it in the last episode, I've got one field that I've done nothing on. Um, I bought it for the BGA. So I don't know what I'm going to do with that. I'm, I'm almost tempted to just sell it right now. No other reason than to, I'm not going to use it right away. Uh, it's just sitting there idle. So why not sell it? I mean, I, it s sells back exactly for what I paid for it, so it's not a big deal. I can rebuy it again when I need to, when I'm ready, you know. Okay. Look at those fields growing. How are we doing in here anyway? Uh, production. Sugar. How are we doing? So we've got um, 135 in there. I feel like just dumping everything. Uh, yeah, I need a road through here. This is awkward. This is awkward. Go up here around the corner. Oh my goodness. I have to... Oh. Okay. <laughs> Crop destruction. Should I turn that off? I feel like turning it off. Gotta go all the way around. All the way down there. Come all the way back down. There's room for a nice big field down here, isn't there? It's just, yeah, just keep carving fields out. What's the other one doing? 1090s, 73%. That's a weird angle. He's gonna he's gonna force me to destroy a little bit of crop, I think. Oops, I'm too close. Or not. Let's get out of the way. I am not going to drive back out. I'm gonna stay right here. They can deal with Well, maybe I'll pull, pull out of there. Yeah, I probably should. I'll just wait till they turn. Am I full of bales yet? Uh, probably. Let's see the... Uh I do not see the worker on my little display down there. Dude, this kind of this truck is kind of feels underpowered. This is only half a load. 
And I, I am going uphill, but... Okay, let's leave that there for now. Turn off the engine. This guy's gonna do this same kind of thing, too. Nice. At least this one will unload. Okay, where's our bales? <laughs> there we go. Ooh, we got quite a few. Um, where are we going with this? I guess we're gonna put it uh, right into production. Yeah, see, this is really choppy. Video. Another thing about getting new, new computer equipment is you don't know how bad your current equipment is. So you get the new one and uh, and you're in, everything looks so much more nicer. Um. I am going to go around. I gotta be careful not to drive over that. Go around this way so I can unload to the right, the left, I mean. I guess we're gonna have to pay some attention to this soon. Get some more mineral feed in here and have a look at what else I need to put in there. Uh, there we go. Let's take them all. No. There we go. I've got stuff in here that needs to come out too. Well, let's do the straw first. We'll get that off the field. Then we can get working on the field. Then we'll get some silage done. I think I can just come back onto the field and let go. Uh, let go. That should be good. Okay. I'm going to assume that this is going to work. Yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, no. Okay, it's good. Okay, that's doing all right. Oh, he's not empty. Is he going to go for the second trailer, though? Hmm. Wondering what they're doing right now. Okay. Just going to let him go. All right. Um, what's next? What's next? Okay, let's have a look real quick at our fields. See how we're doing. We've got a lot of sorghum coming out from over here, and we've got some barley coming out from here. That's also chicken feed. Uh, we're good. We're good for feed for a little while, I think. Uh, they are this. Well, these are pro this will probably be ready first. Um, this is much longer to grow, I think. So, and I think I just drilled this in right after this. So, um, I think that'll be ready first. Then this, then probably this. Now we gotta figure out what we're doing in these guys. And how am I doing? Uh, rolling. Yes, that's what I said I was gonna do. I was gonna buy a roller. So let's do that right away. Let's do that. Let's shop. Rollers. And I probably want something big. That one. Uh, that is... 24.3, what's this? It's also 24.3 multi-roller. What does that mean? It can mulch as well. Is that what that does? It mulches, oh, configuration. Field roller, grass roller, mulching roller. Interesting. 
So you have to set the different different settings on it. This might be the solution for us, flexibility. It's big. Let's just double check to make sure there's not a lot of options here. What's this? That is almost the same size. Well, it needs a lot. Wow, look at the size of that thing. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with this guy here. Multi. Um, we're going to start with... Um, I think I need more hay. So I'm going to start with grass roller configuration. That's what we'll use first. Now, see, I'm confused about this. I don't know how this works. I know I should know this. So if I drill something fresh, um, like like if I, I, I put in seed, like I'm going to put in grass seed in that field that we just finished taking the straw off of. Um, if I do that and I drill, do I need a grass roller or do I need field roller? Because I just, I just put the seed in fresh. I think grass rollers after I've harvested grass and then I, I roll it again. Is, is that right? Am I, am I thinking the right thing? Well, I mean, we'll find out. Uh, this is expensive, but it's worth it. But we're going to pick that up. Uh, we need a tractor. Let's go get that. Yeah, I need the, uh, the hive mind uh, thing here. Rolling. So if I roll, uh, like for example, this field to the left here. Um, it's too late for me to roll, right? I should be doing it right after I drill. Oh, my chickens. I gotta do that. I gotta do that too. Come on. This thing's pretty big. So my 1090 is full. I don't know if it's going to try to unload into the second trailer. The sugar beet is almost full. I need more sheds. More sheds. I don't know where I'm going to put this yet. Let's go in here. We'll put it over with the, uh, we'll plop it in there with the uh, sprayers. Oops, that turned too sharp. I didn't turn sharp enough. Another six. Ah, uh, no. It's, you know, that's not a recommended strategy. Of course, I'm going to get stuck now. All right, let's back this right into the corner. We can. We can. Ugh, I'm so bad at backing up. Need to go straight. Once I get in the door, then I can start turning. And try not to run into my other implements. Could have just put it in that corner ahead of me. Okay. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. All right. That's done. We're going to need that soon. But not quite yet. I'm just gonna go repark here.
Okay. All right, where are we? These are all picked up now. So we can start putting in grass. We're going to put grass in here. Yeah, on Zelanka we're gonna do we're gonna have a lot of settings on. We're gonna make it tricky. Certain things that um Yeah I don't want to say it's gonna make it complicated, but uh, we're, I think we're gonna leave stones on. I think we're gonna leave weeds. Um obviously the fertilizing liming stuff is comes with precision farming. And um, try to make our own products, our own lime, uh, fertilizers, and whatnot. I'm gonna dump. Oh, you know what? Now that I think about it, um, do I have some in there? Yeah, I have some in there. Okay. So I need it for bedding as well. All right, let's see if I can do this a little bit better this time, a little bit more forward. Will I get it? Will I get it? Yes. Okay. Let's put this away. That's done. Looks like the harvester um, for the canola did unload properly. Leave that there for now. Grass, grass. Oh, I need to cultivate first though. I don't have a direct drill. Okay, that's fine. Let's get let's get the elevens. Eleven sixty seven going. Do I have plowing turned on on this map? Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. I forget. Um no, I don't have it on. Okay. First point, of course, this two is fine. And we should be good to go. Now I'm gonna, since it's gonna be grass, I'm going to, um, I'm gonna clean up all the corners, everything, everything, everything. And I think I'm actually going to fix that little field problem that, that's there. Yeah, we'll fix that up before we drill in the grass. Just up ahead, there's a little bit of a glitch there. Okay, who needs attention? Figure beat. And the chickens. I'm full here. And that's full. I'm going to I'm going to go train uh, change my truck. Or maybe there's an engine upgrade for this one. Yeah, let's just change it. You know, like I have favorites that I like to run with. They seem to run well, so why why mess with it, right?
All right, let's shop. Let's pick up a new truck. Um, oh, let's see if there's any. No, nothing. Nothing significant here. Uh, I'm just going to go for my favorite go to, and which is these guys here. Never really figured out what the difference between these two is. They're both six by six. So, yep. Uh, color. Yeah. There we go. That'll work. Uh, oh, I want a tr front. Oh, a front. That's a new, new setting. Standard trailer hitch. That's what I want. Trailer hitch on the back. I don't want one on the front. Why do I want a trailer hitch on the front? I don't even know what that is. Okay. So, I think what I'm going to do, should I sell this one or should I keep it as well? Um, I'm going to drop it off here and think about it. I'm going to think about it. I might sell it or I might keep it. I, I, I've been talking about getting a second one anyway. I might look and see if there's an upgrade for it for power. Oops, better turn it off though. Now technically this should not be a more powerful tractor. For some reason it seems a lot more peppy and strong. Maybe it's a transmission type or something. Or maybe it's just an illusion. Let's scoot right through here. few unreal trucks that are extremely powerful and very fast but we won't use that on this series half done I think not more okay <clears throat> let's deal with our egg issue if I'm not mistaken it's the two chicken coops at the, uh, the, the newest ones Action going. Okay. One down, one to go. I don't know if this will hold them all. Oh, I hate this trailer with the turning back wheels. So we're going to do these ones manually. 
Lots of eggs. Okay. That is 33,000 liters of eggs. Doesn't seem right looking at the size of it, but I think it's a more of a symbolic thing. What does that put us for eggs? Um, where are we? Eggs. We've got $530,000 worth of eggs, and we've got 1.3 million worth of seeds that we made. Um, <clears throat> there's no sell point, <laughs> so we won't be selling seed. I don't want to sell that stuff anyway. I'd rather make real products. Uh, where are we? We're September. Water. Seriously? Water? Okay. Anyways. Um... Okay, so well, that has been, crisis has been averted. I'm just leaving this here for now, because that's what I do. Um, Uh-oh. Is this full? This is full. Oh, I'm going to try to pull away with it. Being taken out. Oh. Okay, canola. I think we said we were going to be storing this for a while till it's a peak price. Uh, I'm going to pop this up here. Uh, tip side back. That works. Yeah, this is really laggy. I don't know what changed. I don't know if a game update changed the. Uh, the graphics settings or something. I'm finding it very choppy right now. Maybe it's maybe it's the universe telling me that it is time to upgrade my PC. I should run run right out this afternoon and pick it up. Oh that universe. I like how this is how this blows in here. It's not too bad now. Around the house is still a little wonky, I think. Um, G and is this a, it's gonna tip back. That's okay, I think though. Let's unload this. Uh, dun -dun. All right, head back up there. It's already at 87% full in the harvester, so we'll get into position again. Hopefully we'll get there before it's full. This is what I mean about doing episode, um, doing a series with large fields. Uh, this is going to be the second episode now. We're still working on the same fields. And I don't think we're going to finish. I don't think we're going to finish them in this episode. <laughs> so, it's going to drag out a little bit, but... I'm just going to go and park right where we were. In a different direction now. Oh, the tracks disappeared. Did we? Ah, uh, we didn't make it in time. Okay. Not a problem. That should be good. Straighten it. We'll leave them here. Turn them off. Hopefully this spot works. 
How's this coming? Gonna take a little while too, isn't it? And of course this is full. Yeah, maybe I'm imagining things. This doesn't seem a lot faster. See if I can turn this at high speed without jackknifing. You know, one map that never, never made it to FS22. I don't know. Actually, never made it to Mod Hub anyway. It might actually exist out there somewhere. It was an interesting map that I enjoyed playing, although it, it was a little bit of a pain in some some aspects. From FS19, it was uh, Pacific Northwest, and it had large fields down down low. And it had small fields up, up high, uh, and then there was this ramp that you had to go up and down. There was a couple of ramps, actually. Three. Three to be specific, now that I remember. And um, you'd have to cart stuff back and forth, especially when, when you were working at the, at the top. Uh, a lot of the cell points were down below. For some reason, I really liked that map. Those of you who know which map I'm talking about, um, that whole open area um, down below, actually both, there's kind of two big areas down below um, in a gameplay. Where am I going? Wrong fields, wrong fields. I'm going to get the combine confused if I do this. Um, I, I did a big... Um, game save, I guess, uh, on that map uh, in FS19, and I turned the, the whole bottom into just two fields, two big monstrous fields, and I cleared all the trees that I could, and uh, I had a big cotton production going on on one, one side, and uh, I think I was doing soybean on the other side. I was making so much money, it was ridiculous. Up top I did random stuff. Okay, where are we? What's next? What's next? What's next? Um, let's have a look. How's the clock going? We're almost at the hour mark. Let's have a look at what we need here. Um, so we have nothing in here. Uh, that's okay because I think we still have a fair amount of flour. This is not going through it very quickly, so I'm not in a rush. Our butter is good. Our eggs, uh, all this stuff is good. Uh, chocolate is, uh, we're low on milk, so we got to get on that. I think we'll keep that, that first truck. Um, TMR, where are we? I need silage. Why is that off? I don't know why this is not activated. We have more than enough straw there now. Um, silage, I've got a bunch to move, so we can do that. Uh, this here, uh, manure and slurry, there's, there's nothing in here, so we should get on that. Grapes. Um, why is this stuff off? I'm confused. Remember, maybe I turned it off. Let's activate that. Because we need them in here. Oh, maybe because that was full. Chocolate seems to be a problem. So, yeah, that's our bottleneck, is, is chocolate. I have to figure out how to upgrade our chocolate game. Okay. I'm going to keep that other truck. Let's go get it right now. I'm going to move uh, milk uh, and slurry. Oh, the day's starting to get the long shadows. It's the end of the day. I'm going to have to finish these harvests in October. 
And I think the milk trailer is right at the dairy right now, so I'll just grab it right away. Get that done first. milk we have. I assume we probably have a good amount. Um, milk is on the other side. This side is the chocolate milk. Yes, I went there. Look how much how much milk do we have? Oh, we got a good amount. Pretty good. Oh, they're out of food. Ugh. I don't think I'm gonna get more cows. I think this is gonna be it. Poor cows. They must be hungry. Leaves have started changing colors. Uh, through here. We'll do the same thing again. I'm just going to drop this off. I'm just going to leave it here. There's nothing else we would come through here for anyway, so. Don't know if I disconnect if it's going to continue unloading. I don't think so. on that let's get oops uh, that's busy let's get a tractor we're gonna get some TMR Look at all that straw. Nice. This takes a while to unload too, so we'll just jump around between things. I gotta get that beat problem sorted out. Come on. Why isn't this working? There we go. Next. Next. There we go. Next, next. Um, 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 um. I need silage. Let's grab this, make it easy, and we're going to get some slurry and manure to the production, the BGA, make some more money. Uh, where's the, where's the trigger? Let's turn it off triggers again. There we go. I need the silage and I need all of it, or most of it anyway. Yeah, this is really laggy. I don't know why.
F1B operating position. Turn around, go the other way. Get a bit closer. Okay, let's go drop this off. I think I could unload either side with this. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yes, all in one shot. So where are we with that in the production uh, TMR? Oh, we could take a lot more in here. A lot more. Let's get the rest of them. Why don't? Why not? Right? No, oh, still can't get them all. Um, let's go this way. Do the same thing again. Why reset? Yeah, can't get them all. <laughs> Let's see, is there any more in here? There we go. Be a bit too close. Let's see. Um, I should be okay. Yeah, just the one. Okay, where are we? Look at that real quick again. Wow, these can take a lot. I'm gonna need mineral feed soon. Okay, let's put this away for now. That's enough of that. Obviously, I'm going to need a lot of silage later. I have to do another bale run. Getting late in the day. I think we're going to have to call it soon. Uh, this is done. All right. Let's go get our slurry. I don't have a trailer to get the manure out, so that's going to have to wait. Lots of small chores to do now. Um, <clears throat> don't know if it was preloaded. fills up pretty quick. Okay. Multitasking here. Gonna get a lot of stuff done. Ideally, I need a much bigger, much bigger trailer to be doing this with. Maybe one that unloads faster. 
Okay. Slurry should be full. Because how much do we have actually? Doesn't show on here. Um oh wow, we still got tons. These cows are putting out. Yeah. Yeah, I find this sluggish. I don't know if it's me. This is a, a lot of weight, though. 40,000 liters of anything is, is no joke. Alright. Let's drop this off right here. And we'll get this production running again. Uh, where are we? Where are we? There we go. Slurry. Activate. We have a fair amount of digestate, but we need that for our other production. Okay. All right, guys. I think I'm going to call it here. There's still a lot of stuff to do. A lot of little tasks. A ton of little tasks. I might do a bit of that off camera. Maybe, maybe not. And then obviously we've got the productions um, to have a look at this one here in particular. Have to look at these greenhouses and see where they are with materials. We'll do that in the next episode. And of course, we're going to finish harvesting those fields and we'll get grass drilled into this one. Still so much work. Thank you very much for watching. If you're enjoying this and you're not already subscribed, please uh, consider subscribing and uh, get the, help me get to that 1000 mark so I can apply for the Giants program. I really want that. I want it. Um, yeah. Hope you guys have a great day.